Matthew, this is such a moving uh, account that you've managed to do. And how, how did it come about? And did you start off by thinking of doing something completely different and then it turned into what it turned to in the end? Yeah, I think it started out as, yeah, something completely different and evolved into what it evolved into, like most films I've ever made. Um, John and I were having dinner one night. He had done the score for a previous documentary that I made. And he was telling me about American Symphony, and we both um, turned to each other and were like, yeah, we should probably document this. Um, but at that point, it was, it was going to be a process film, a film about the making of American Symphony, yeah. sort of going the road and getting musical influences and, and documenting that process. Then life intervened, and he got you know, nominated for 11 Grammys. She got re-diagnosed like re re with cancer, mm -hmm. and, you know, even as we were starting filming, the, the lens had already shifted. Um, another COVID wave came through New York, and so we, we had to adapt. Mm -hmm. And you filmed most of it around sort of COVID. You can see um, that everyone is wearing masks ar around the town. And how, how complicated was that for you to do? The, the film that I made that John scored was called The First Wave. So I spent mm -hmm. four months in a ICU unit in, in uh, New York City. So I'd spent a lot of time filming in hospitals, um, filming with COVID. And so, yeah, it was, it was certainly something I was, I was used to, but this had a whole new set of challenges. You know, Suleika going through a bone marrow transplant was essentially a newborn. I mean, she had no immune system. And so it was extraordinarily sensitive in terms of figuring out how to sort of divide and conquer the team and how to go to the hospital safely and, and you know, the last thing in the world any of us wanted to do, obviously, was, was give her COVID um, as she was battling so many other things. Yeah. Um, so it was, it, was, it was a complicated thing to produce and navigate. I, I, Tara, you catch some really, really intimate moments between them and the, the sort of the, the fight against cancer and, and this kind of like they're in, inside the cocoon. How did that feel not to, to put yourself on the outside of that with that f being too much, too sort of voyeuristic in a, in a way? How, how did you like manage, because you did manage it, how did you manage to sort of make it look so intimate without sort of overcrossing? I mean, maybe I did overcross. I'm not sure. You, no, you can, I don't, you can I don't ask them. You, I don't think you did. Um, that, that's what I love about making films and, and doing what I do is, is trying to get as deep and intimate as possible. Um, some people call it fly on the wall filmmaking. Um, no offense to flies, but um, you know, there's a real sort of camaraderie and, and dialogue that happens. And so I think w what I try to do is become part of the the fabric of the daily lives of the people I'm filming with, um, so which allows them to be themselves, which allows them to be vulnerable and funny and you know sad if you know whatever emotion they're going through and feel comfortable doing so. And so, even John, who, who spent a lot of his life in front of a camera, had never ever ever um, been filmed like this. And so I think it definitely took a little getting used to, um, but I'm really grateful for. I, I know that you developed. A, a very strong friendship um, with John, but what is it about him that makes him such a, an unusual person, such a sort of a, a you know a one in a lifetime kind of person? What's what was about him that attracted you to be making this film about him? Oof. I mean, so many different things. It's hard to put John in a box or to describe him yeah. in sort of a simple answer. He's he's you know a really complicated, interesting, fascinating genius and I think part of what artistically attracts me to John is that he he's a master he's a master of his craft I mean that's undeniable yet he's also a student and he is constantly learning and evolving and you know redefining himself and that was a really beautiful thing to witness and an exciting thing to document um, someone who is at the top of his game, but is but is has a sort of wide-eyed view of of the world of a you know young music student, fourteen-year-old music music student that he was, 
So, you know, that, that, that sort of dichotomy is a really beautiful thing to see. I know that you, as we said, you started off by wanting to make a film about his, him composing this symphony, but you ended up making a film about F both, you know, uh, Seleka's uh, illness and and them facing it together. Um, given the ch the chance, would you sort of revisit uh, the two of them, like say two years later or a year later, and see how how they've come across and how they've um, they've managed to sort of fight off um, the elements, really, um, and in a way, just sort of. To see if they've come come through it. Um, like, would I like to, or will I? Would you? Would you like to, or would you? <laughs> I mean, I would like to. I I, I won't. You uh, won't. I mean, I think one of the things I love about what I do is every two years, one year. I mean, I've had three films come out in the past three years, but is is sort of dive into a new pond and swim around. And and while I, I love them, and they'll be lifelong friends, and um. It was an incredible experience making this film. I want to continue to push myself as an artist and, you know, as a person. And so, yeah, I think, well, as enticing as it is, I, I don't think it'll happen probably. I know you've really challenged yourself with like your last two films and working in such conditions. But um, what can we expect from you next? What can we expect in these non-COVID COVID times, but being able to work like in normal sort of circumstances? Yeah, I mean, I think just to go back to the last question, which will yeah. hopefully answer this question too, is, you know, I, um, a lot of people have sort of asked me, like, why did you make this film? You, you know, you you made conflict films and war zone films, and what does this film have to do with the rest of your career? And I don't view it that way. Like, you know, this is about, I'm, I'm attracted to people confronting, you know, big odds, mm -hmm. cancer, you know, symphony, Grammys, like, so th this film feels very much in line with the, the previous films that I made, and yeah, I just want to keep growing as, a, as an artist, and I'm, I'm in the process of making a, a narrative TV series, um, something that I've never done. Um, I'm terrified and excited. Oh, I look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey You Guys! <laughs> hey, you guys! Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!